Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made this American flag out of cake pops. I saw this all over Pinterest and I thought it would be super fun for 4th of July. So let's get started. So here are the supplies that I'm going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the cake. So I'm going to be using a box mix from the store, but you can always bake your cake from scratch if you prefer that. So I have a little hack that I can share with you guys when you're using a box mix. So I like to replace the water and use milk and then I also like to add an extra egg than what's required on the box and that helps it taste even better. I always get a lot of compliments on these cake pops and so yeah if you guys want to give it a try let me know what you guys think. So once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and just bake the cake as instructed. And once your cake is baked, go ahead and add it into a mixing bowl and start crumbling your cake. I did forget this step, but just go ahead and crumble first and then add your frosting in. You just want to start with a little bit at a time. And what we're looking for is enough to form a ball without it falling apart. So the mix felt a little dry so I went ahead and added a couple more scoops of frosting. So now I'm going to be using my cake pop mold that I picked up from the store. This is a great way to make sure that your cake pops are the same size every single time. I'll go ahead and link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Once I'm done with this, I open it up and re-roll the cake pops just to make sure that they're nice and firm and they do not fall apart. Now that I finished rolling all the cake pops, I just went ahead and melted a few candy melts in the microwave. And now I'm going to add the sticks inside the cake pops. And I like to wipe off the excess candy melts just to get a nice clean line at the top. So while I'm waiting for these to set, I'm going to just place them in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. So while we're waiting on the cake pops, I wanted to show you guys how I decorated the tray. So I picked up these items at Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I just wanted to decorate the tray with this sticker paper so I'm adding that to the bottom. So I went ahead and melted my candy melts on the stove and then once I'm done with that I went ahead and added some vegetable oil just to get a nice consistency and it's not too thick where the cake pops will fall off the stick so that helps and then also another tip is to make sure that your candy melts are at a nice room temperature they're not too hot and also make sure your cake pops are at a nice temperature so they're not too cold so we can avoid cracking on our cake pops.
So now I'm going to get started on the blue cake pops. So I'm just dipping a couple in at a time and then go ahead and add the Wilton stars on top. I'll go ahead and leave these in the description box below if you want to check them out as well. If you do not have the Wilton stars, you can also use white sprinkles. That works too. And now this is probably my favorite part of making cake pops. I like adding these lines. So you're just gonna wanna make sure you go side to side and get them as straight as possible. Now I'm just going to add a cute bow on the side and then we're ready to assemble the flag. So I'm going to be placing the cake pops on these miniature cupcake holders. I'll go ahead and link them down below for you guys. And now when I'm done, I like to just make sure all the sticks are standing straight up and it helps it give it a nice look. Alright guys and that is it. That is my take on an American flag with cake pops. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions leave them for me down below. If you can also subscribe, like and comment that would help me out so much. And thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys. Bye!